Let's test this too. Oh, yeah, it's popping good. Ah. Drop my phone on my... Alright guys, I dropped my phone on the first video. I can't believe that. I'm sitting here. Okay, what's up guys? Big West with Double O Kettle Company. We're going to sit here. I'm going to start this YouTube channel. And we're here in South Mississippi. And I work a full-time job. I run kettle on the side. My passion is kettle. We're going to sit here and make videos about what it's like in South Mississippi trying to make just ranching, you know, start a ranch. We want to talk from anything about horses, fencing, dogs, stock dogs, you know, I don't, I don't like chihuahuas, uh, water troughs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyway, if y'all want to shoot a comment in the bottom, see what y'all would like to talk about. There's all kinds of stuff, herbicides, row crops, whatever. You just let us know, if you will, subscribe, watch for a little bit later. We're going to have some more videos coming. I think this first video is probably going to be on bush hogging, pasture maintenance, and uh, see you later. T Ranch. Alright, Brandon Thrash, he's the owner here. He just got through finished bush hogging this stuff. Now why did you want to bush hog and not spray? What what's your opinion? What's your advice? Well we had uh a bunch of weeds all through here. We had a whole lot of grass. There's still a whole lot of grass through here. But uh the weeds were just starting to overtake the grass, so I, I shading it out. Yeah, I went on to bush hog that down, try to kill it out for now. Maybe the grass will take over and, and fill in those bare spots. Okay. Uh, Dog days of summer. What what kind of cattle do you raise? Uh, most of the rangers. Unless you want to have to trim her hooves, maybe that asphalt will trim them up good. Ah. Push her to you. There's that Hereford bull he's talking about. Man, that thing is a beast. We'll ride across the road and check this other group of calves or, or cows real quick. You got bad thieves? Oh, you just dummy locked it. I yeah. see, yeah. Uh-huh. No herbicide. Some folks use herbicide, some bush hog. Speaking of bush hogging, here's my rig. This is what I've got. It's a 40-20, 15-foot bush hog. And, uh... It's loud, it's, it's not the best in the world, but it's better than nothing, I promise you. I, I'm grateful to have this real clean tractor. I need to clean the radiator off right there. And, uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's get to bush hogging.
what we're talking about, bush hogging, we got weeds. We got a thistle right there. We got dog fennel right there. Got some other flower. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. But regardless, we're you see the height difference? And we get some good lush grass right here. And all that dog fennel and other weeds, they create a canopy. Kind of like the rainforest and it'll shade it out and let's come up just a little bit closer okay see at the base of these these plants here see the brown grass see how it's getting brown is dying because it's getting shaded out it doesn't have sunlight to create photosynthesis but over here where there's not any shade good green grass so anyway that's the purpose of bush hogging Alright fellas, this is going to wind up the episode with bush hogging. I ended up finishing up my parcel and checking cattle as I finished up. They look real good. Got cattle calving. But, these cattle are on some leased property. I gotta make sure this damn fence wire is electrified. Unfortunately for me, I left my damn fence tester at the house. So, what I'm gonna have to do, I don't want to, but gotta make sure it's hot. Ooh, yeah, it's hot. It's shocking. All right, I got one, two. It's on one fence charger. The other two, one, two. It's on another fence charger, so let's test it too. Ooh, yeah, it's popping good. Okay, well, Whew. <laughs> I'd put some whew, pep in your step, I'm telling you. Alright, well look, cattle look real good. I'm gonna make another round and this is gonna finish up with bush hogging. Glad y'all watched. Subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. Ask questions. I'd love your feedback. Thank you.